Hey Metalheads, welcome back to another video, and I'm here to give you guys my 17th episode of my series, Rank It All, where I take a band's discography and rank their albums from least favorite to favorite, and remember guys, my role for these episodes is only for studio albums. No compilations or greatest hits, only studio albums. And now, some of my rankings on these albums, I know you guys will probably think I'm crazy for putting certain albums in this order, but remember, it is just my opinion. You guys don't have to agree with me at all. And now, Megadeth is one of these bands that only has like two bad albums, or... Albums that aren't very good, but the rest is good, but I gotta put these albums somewhere, guys. But enough of me going on and on, and let's go ahead and get started with this ranking. Okay, now, number 15 is gonna have to be their 2013 album, Super Collider. And now, I did enjoy some songs from this album, if I'm being quite honest, but... It's nowhere near being their best album, and I do understand this album is overhated, but that's kind of for a reason, guys, because it's not very good. It's not the worst metal album of all time, but it's easily my least favorite from Megadeth, if I'm being quite honest with you guys. But I did enjoy some songs off of it, and those would be the songs Kingmaker, even the title track was pretty good. Not their best title track, but I think it's okay. Dance in the Rain with Damon, with Dance in the Rain with David Dreaming from the band Disturbed, and also enjoyed the song Beginning of Sorrow. I thought that one was pretty good. So yeah, enough about Super Collider. So let's go ahead and move on to number fourteen. Number fourteen is going to have to be their other album that I think isn't very good and it's going to be their 1999 album Risk and this is more of like a alternative rock type album for Megadeth even though they are a metal band I know they wanted to try something a little bit different with this but it just didn't really work for them honestly so yeah I don't have much to say about Risk but yeah it's another album of theirs that isn't all that good so that explains why it's in at number 14. But yeah, favorites though from Risk would be the songs Prince of Darkness, Crush em, Breadline, Wanderlust, and Ecstasy. So yeah, those are all my favorites from Risk. So let's move on to number 13. Now number 13 and 12, you guys might think I'm crazy for having one album above the other when it comes to albums 13 and 12. 12 within my ranking here but remember it is just my opinion guys you guys don't gotta agree with it but number 13 I'm going with The System Has Failed which is their 2004 album it is a great album but there is some flaws that I have with it and that would be because of Dave Mustaine's vocals on some of the songs I think some of the songs are filler it's not a bad album of course it is better than Risk and Super Collider both combined but I just don't think it's one of their best albums. They have better albums, in my opinion. It's not terrible, though, but it's just not one of their best. Because, like I said, it does have some flaws when it comes to Dave's voice on some of the tracks. But that doesn't mean it's a bad album, though, just because of a few fault tracks, you know. But, yeah, songs I did enjoy that from this album are Blackmail the Universe, Die Dead Enough, Kick the Chair, Back in the Day... Truth Be Told, and the song The Scorpion. So yeah, those would probably be all my favorites from The System Has Failed. So yeah, they do have better albums though, but like I said, it's not terrible though. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to number 12. Number 12 in my ranking is going to have to be their 2001 album, The World Needs a Hero Now. You guys probably think I'm crazy for having this above The System Has Failed, but... I think this album has better songs than The System Has Failed, but not much better, though. just a tad bit better, so that explains why this album is a little bit above 
the system has failed. But yeah, it's not a bad album, though. But yeah, favorites from this album, though, would be Disconnect, Moto Psycho, 1000 Times Goodbye, Promises. Promises is easily one of my favorite ballads by Megadeth. Great song for sure. So, yeah, another favorite would be Dread and the Fugitive Mind. Return to Hangar is pretty good. Some people say it's a ripoff of Hangar 18 from Rust in Peace, but I get where you're coming from, but I kind of disagree with that. But I still respect your opinion, though, if you think it's a ripoff of Hangar 18. And another favorite from this album would be the bonus track, Coming Home. It is a bonus track. It only appears on the Japan bonus track version, and it's also included, though, on the 2019 remaster. So if you have the 2019 remaster of the album, you get this bonus track, Coming Home. Coming Home's less than three minutes, but it's still a great song for sure. And pretty underrated making this song as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on in the ranking and go to number 11. Number 11 is going to have to be their 2007 album, United Abominations. Now, this album is pretty good. I think it's better than the albums that I've talked about so far. So that explains why it's coming in at number 11. But yeah, this is a pretty good album. Not one of their best, not one of my favorites. But it's still a pretty good album for what it is. But yeah, favorites though would be Sleepwalker, Washington is next, the title track, Gears of War. Gears of War is easily one of the best songs on there. Very great song. Kind of underrated as well. Blessed of the Dead was really good. And also like the song America's Dawn. I believe I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm not sure. But either way, that song is really good. But my only complaint though with this album is the re-recorded version of A Toot and a Moan. I don't think that duet with Christina of Lacuna Coil should have happened because it should have never happened because the re-recorded version from United Abominations just isn't very good. It's not terrible. It shouldn't have happened though, just to be honest with you all, at least in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn the page here in my notes and go ahead and move on to number 10. Number 10. Now, majority of the Megadeth ranking videos that I watched here on YouTube, they have this album at like 13, 12, or 11, but I'm going to have to disagree with that. I'm not saying your ranking is wrong because it is your opinion, but which I respect. But in my opinion, their album 13 has to come in at number 10 for me because I think it's a great album. It's not as bad as some people says it is. I actually did enjoy the Ho album. So yeah, it's pretty good. Not one of their best, but still a good album though. Because like I said earlier on in the ranking, this band only has two bad albums. Those being Super Collider and Risk. But the rest is great, you know. But yeah, 13 though. Coming in at number 10. Favorites from it though would be Sudden Death, Public Enemy number 1. Whose Life Is It Anyways, New World Order, the title track 13 was really good, and the song Millennium of the Blind. But yeah, those are all my favorites from their album 13, so let's go to move on to number 9. Number 9, I'm going to have to go with their 1985 debut, Killing Is My Business, and Business Is Good. Now... I think this is their weakest album out of all of their 80s stuff because they released like three albums out of the 80s era. But yeah, I th easily think this is the weakest out of those out of their 80s stuff. But it's not bad, guys. It's just a weaker album out of their 80s stuff, but not terrible, though. But yeah, favorites, though, would be Last Rites Dash Loved to Death. The Skull Beneath the Skin was really, really good. Rattlehead was also another favorite for me from this album. Really great song. Looking Down the Cross was really good, and also the song Mechanics. Many people hate on Mechanics because of Metallica's song, The Four Horsemen from Metallica's debut, Kill Em All, but I just think that's stupid because they're both great songs. People just hate on great music anymore, it seems like, but it's whatever, I guess. 
But yeah, mechanics is pretty good though. And I don't get why people hate on it. It's ridiculous. But yeah. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and move on in the ranking and go to number 8. Now, you guys probably think I'm crazy for having this album this high in the ranking, but I think it's a pretty good album. It's not one of their best, but it's not terrible, though. And it is a pretty underrated album, if you ask me. But it's going to have to be their 1994 album, Euthanasia. It's got some really good underrated songs on it, because to me it is a underrated album not one of their best like i said but it's still good for what it is but yeah if i can list off some favorites that would be a toot and a moan of course the original version the song the killing road underrated song blood of heroes is also underrated addicted to chaos fantastic song reckoning reckoning day was really great and also the song train of consequences now, when I first heard Train of Consequences, I didn't really like that song much, but the more and more I heard it, the more it grew on me. So, yeah, it's now a favorite for me from Euthanasia. So, yeah, number eight, 1994's album, Euthanasia. So, number seven, now, I see a lot of people having this album ranked way lower than me, but I do respect your opinion, though, nonetheless. But it's going to have to be their 1997 album, Cryptic Writings. And I was about three days old when this album came out. I thought that was pretty cool when I first heard about that like a year or so ago. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Just a fun fact, if you guys didn't know that. But yeah, Cryptic Writings is a great album. I think it's another underrated album from Megadeth. Not one of their best, but... I still think it is a really good album, and that explains why it's in my top 10 coming in at number 7. It sounds a lot different than some of their other stuff, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's great. But yeah, favorites from it, though, would be Trust, Almost Honest, Use the Man, I'll Get Even, A Secret Place, She-Wolf, and FFF. Those would be all my favorites from Cryptic Writings, but still good album. So yeah. Really good stuff here. Underrated album for sure. At least to me it is. Some people would probably disagree. Some people would probably agree. But either way, I respect your opinion. Even if it's different than mine. So yeah, 7 Cryptic Writings from 1997. Okay, number 6. Now, this album I had at number 6. I originally put it down at number 4. But I did decide to move it back down to number 6. But it's still a great album, and it's going to have to be their latest album, 2016's Dystopia. I did enjoy the whole album, but however, I had to put it at number 6. But yeah, though, favorites from this album would be the title track Dystopia, easily one of their best title tracks. The Thread is Real is really good. Fatal Illusion is great. Post-American World, really enjoyed that one. Lying in State was a fantastic track. Easily one of the best songs on there. The Emperor was really good. And I even enjoyed the instrumental song. I believe it's called Conquer or Die. Really great album for sure. So it has to come in at number 6 though. Because I think the other 5 that I'm about to reveal to you guys are better than Dystopia. But Dystopia is still a great album though nonetheless. Alright. Cracking in at number 5, top 5 time now guys, is going to be So Far, So Good, So What, their 1988 album. Like my second favorite out of the 80s era. So, yeah, really good album. Very underrated, unappreciated. Many people don't talk about this album for some reason, but I think it's very good. Now, the production isn't very good. I think it was better on the previous album, which was Peace Sells But Who's Buying, but So Far, So Good, So What is still a good album, nonetheless, though. So, yeah, favorites from that album, though, would be Set the World Afire, which is a fan favorite, and I can definitely see why, because it is a great song. Anarch in the UK, it is a cover. Some people probably don't like this cover, but I do. I think it's pretty good not one of their best covers but i still enjoyed it 
502 was really good. In My Darkest Hour, of course, that's going to be a favorite for me because it's easily one of their most popular songs and because I think it's one of their best songs that they ever put out. And final song, Hook and Mouth, pretty good song. So yeah, let's going to move on to number four. Just a few more and left, guys. Number four, now, you guys probably think I'm crazy for putting this this high in my ranking, but it's going to have to be their 2009 album, Endgame. Now, Endgame is easily my favorite out of their 2000s stuff. I know some people would probably say that the system has failed is better, but I can see where you're coming from. But to me, I think Endgame is better, and that explains why it's all the way in at number four. But yeah, great album, enjoyed the whole thing, but if I had to pick out favorites though, it's going to have to be the songs This Day We Fight, 44 Minutes, 1320, Bodies, the title track, Head Crusher, Head Crusher, really good song, definitely one of the best songs there, and The Right To Go Insane, I think The Right To Go Insane was the closing track, but awesome way to end off this 2000's masterpiece. So, yeah, Endgame, in at number four, their 2009 album. Alright, number three, Countdown to Extension, 1992 album. Now, I was thinking about putting this at one, but I'm like, nah, it's good, but it shouldn't be there no matter who you are. Some people probably would have this at number one, but me personally, no, I do think it's great. I enjoy every single track on it, but yeah. It's more mainstream and commercial. Some people would compare it to Metallica's 1991 album, The Black Album. But, yeah, this album is still good, though, nonetheless. But, yeah, favorites from it, though, would be Skin Oh My Teeth. Symphony of Destruction. Symphony of Destruction is one of the most popular songs and one of the very first songs ever heard from Megadeth, if I had to be honest with you guys. Great song for sure. Foreclosure of a Dream. Pretty underrated song. Really enjoy that one. Sweating Bullets, another popular song from this album. Really great song. The title track, Countdown to Extension, I think is underrated. Great song. Architecture of Aggression, probably another underrated song from this album. And Ashes in Your Mouth. Some people don't like Ashes in Your Mouth, but I think Ashes in Your Mouth is a great song and Pretty good way to end off the album. I believe it's the title track. I mean, not title track. I meant closing track. My bad, guys. But yeah. Ashes in Your Mouth, I believe, is the closing track. And that's a pretty good way to close off that album. So yeah, guys. Number two. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. And it's going to have to be their 1986 album. Peace Sells But Who's Buying. Really great album. Essential for any metalhead in the world, of course. Fantastic stuff, for sure. Coming in at number two, so yeah, it's my second favorite Megadeth album of all time. But yeah, favorites from this album would be Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, really great song. Peace Sells was great. I Ain't Superstitious, some people don't like that song because it's a cover, and I can definitely see why, but I think it's pretty good. Not one of their best covers, but it's still decent. And My Last Words. My Last Words being the Closing track on the album, I believe. So yeah, number one is going to be Rust in Peace. I don't have much to say about it, but it is a classic. Definitely my favorite by Megadeth, 1990s album, Rust in Peace. A classic for sure, easily one of the best metal albums of all time. But yeah, favorites though would be Holy Wars, Hangar 18, Five Magics, Tornado of Souls, and Rust in Peace, Polaris. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my ranking. I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of my ranking. Be sure to tell me your ranking. Even if it's totally different than mine. I respect your opinion, but please respect mine. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Keep rocking on, stay metal, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care, and yeah, peace.